Welcome everyone to today's session on conquering the ever-present challenge of survey exhaustion. It's a term we've all heard and maybe even felt, but today we're diving deep into the why and, more importantly, the how to overcome it. Let's start by acknowledging the elephant in the room. Survey fatigue is real and it's impacting the quality of the data we collect. But why does it happen? Through research and discussion, we've pinpointed three critical areas. First up, not involving stakeholders in the process. Imagine being asked for feedback without knowing why it matters. That's how your respondents feel when they're left out of the loop. Engagement begins with inclusion. Second, the pitfall of too many questions or, even worse, questions that lead nowhere. Every question should serve a purpose. If it doesn't contribute to your learning or analytics goals, it's just noise. Now, let's focus on the core of today's lesson, improving survey response rates with strategic, actionable steps. Remember the focus on learning or analytics goals we discussed in previous sessions? It is about to become your best tool in survey design. By the end of our time together today, you will have clear, actionable guidelines to not only enhance response rates but also ensure that each response is meaningful. Let us dive in and transform the way we approach surveys together. Today's course will address the challenges of survey exhaustion and how SOPAC Sense can solve them using effective survey design, engagement, and longitudinal surveys for data collection. First, let's look at exhaustive surveys or exhausting surveys. A traditional impact measurement involves surveys with over 50 questions targeting various group members, sometimes entire families. This method poses a significant challenge and demands organizational resources. The process becomes more exhausting than comprehensive for the organization and its participants if we gather so much data. Endless data not being analyzed. The irony of these exhaustive surveys is stark. Organizations find themselves submerged under gigabytes of data, with storage facilities brimming with responses. Yet, a majority of this data remains untouched and unanalyzed. Despite the best intentions, the sheer volume of data prevents useful insight. Third, results in lack of participation, the repercussions of overwhelming surveys and underanalyzed data ripple outwards, affecting participant engagement and stakeholder satisfaction. Having dedicated time to extensive surveys, participants may feel their efforts could be more valued if no tangible change is observed. Meanwhile, analysts and stakeholders are presented with dense spreadsheets, struggling to distill actionable insights from a sea of numbers. This disconnection undermines the perceived value of participating and challenges the organization's ability to leverage data for meaningful impact. What is a successful survey design? Navigating the complexities of survey design requires more than just crafting questions. Do strategic data planning for effective data collection? Organizations often rush into survey creation without a clear roadmap. The key to unlocking meaningful insights lies not in the quantity of questions asked, but in the quality of the planning process. Second, involve your team early in the process. Survey design begins with collaboration. Align on the purpose, understand the learning goals, and decide on the necessity of the survey itself. Make sure feedback is not just a collection of questions, but a strategic instrument tailored to uncover the insights most valuable to your organization's objectives. Third will be, since the ability to analyze lots of data is limited, focus on what is important to you first. Ask questions directly linked to the program's objectives. For example, ask questions regarding stakeholder satisfaction, challenges, and what would work better for them. Ultimately, this insight will help you retain them in the program. Fourth, focus on metrics that make sense to your program. Each program, even if it looks the same, should be customized to meet the unique demands of the community. Finally, if needed, take a step back. Survey design can sometimes feel like navigating a labyrinth. Do not hesitate to take a step back and reevaluate your program's core goals once the first results arrive. This reflective pause allows you to reassess your metrics, refine your questions, and ensure that the survey result guides your program toward its intended impact. Now, let us jump to survey design and data collection strategies. First, clearly define who will fill out the survey forms. Understanding your audience is crucial. 
Consider all relevant stakeholders to your program or research. For instance, include students, professors, and parents in an educational program. Each group can offer unique insights. For example, the perception of math confidence can be different among students, parents, and teachers. Second, analysis cannot be an afterthought. Effective survey design integrates analysis from the beginning. It is essential to think ahead about the insights you want to derive from your data, which will influence the questions you ask. For example, if you're interested in understanding earnings progress across gender or age diversity, you'll need to collect detailed demographic information up front such as gender, age, or ethnicity. Organizing your data in a structured format, like a spreadsheet, can facilitate easier analysis and visualization. Third, plan to collect data at the right touch points. Timing is everything. Collecting data at appropriate intervals before, during, and after an intervention can provide more accurate and relevant insights. Collecting feedback right after the training reduces recall bias and captures experiences more accurately. This approach enhances the quality of your insight. Fourth, identify potential roadblocks in advance. Anticipating challenges is key to smooth data collection. Consider logistical issues like language barriers, internet access, and the technological capabilities of your respondents. Planning for these factors in advance, such as choosing the right survey tools offering offline data collection or multilingual support, can prevent obstacles hindering response rates or data quality. Focusing on these four areas can make your survey a powerful tool for understanding impact and driving improvements. Whether selecting the right participants, integrating analysis into the design process, strategically timing your data collection, or proactively addressing potential challenges, these principles lay the foundation for meaningful engagement and insightful analysis. Considering all your stakeholders' challenges, how will you ask the right types of questions? Choose a survey tool that supports multilingual collection, offline mode functionalities, and an opportunity to ask open ended feedback. There are two primary types of survey questions, closed-ended and open-ended. Let's look at the closed-ended questions first. Closed-ended questions are structured to elicit specific responses, making them effective for collecting demographic and numerical data. These questions can be as simple as the type of organization, state of residence, age, or salary range. The advantage of using closed-ended questions is their ability to standardize responses for easier analysis and comparison. For example, age or nationality can be categorized. Additionally, closed-ended questions are invaluable for collecting repetitive data, such as program IDs, numbers, and geographical information, etc. Next, let's look at open-ended questions, which are often complementary to open-ended questions. Open-ended questions offer a platform for respondents to share their unique perspectives and insights, but they are more challenging to analyze. These questions are essential for avoiding bias and uncovering unexpected insights that can significantly impact program evaluation and improvement. It can reveal nuanced impacts of a program, such as students receiving scholarships through a program reporting they avoided taking loans might not be captured through closed-ended queries alone, Open-ended questions challenge us to embrace the full spectrum of feedback, including potential criticisms or areas of dissatisfaction. By carefully balancing closed and open-ended questions, we can gather comprehensive data that aligns with our objectives and reveals unforeseen opportunities for growth and improvement. In conclusion, successful survey deployment depends on tackling stakeholder engagement throughout your program. To achieve this goal, first, make it an integral part of the program, Embedding surveys as a standard component of program activities significantly boosts response rates. This approach familiarizes participants with the expectation of feedback, making surveys a natural extension of their involvement. For instance, incorporating a survey at the end of a workshop as a routine closure activity ensures continuous data collection and reinforces that feedback is a critical element of the program's life cycle. Second, share why it is important communicating the value of survey participation to stakeholders is crucial. Explaining how their input contributes to the program's growth, sustainability, and ability to serve the community effectively encourages more thoughtful and committed responses. It's about creating a mutual understanding that their feedback directly impacts enhancing the services provided to them and others within the community. Third, can you realistically compensate? 
While compensation can be a strong motivator for participation, it's essential to consider realistic and equitable methods. Offering incentives such as gift cards to the first set of respondents can stimulate prompt responses. However, balancing this to obtain honest and unbiased feedback is vital. Transparent communication about the purpose of the compensation and its limitations can help manage expectations and maintain the integrity of the feedback process. Fourth, share your impact. Demonstrating the tangible outcomes of survey responses by sharing results and subsequent actions can significantly increase future engagement. When participants see the real-world effects of their feedback, be it in program improvements, success stories, or enhanced community services, they are more likely to feel valued and motivated to contribute again. It transforms the survey process from a mere data collection exercise into a collaborative effort for continuous improvement. This approach elevates the quality of our data and strengthens the bond between programs and their stakeholders, creating a foundation for meaningful and sustained engagement. Do you know there is an online solution to help you save a ton of hours doing qualitative data analysis and you can use it right now? Just simply visit our website sense.sopac.com. If you like this video then please like, comment and subscribe for more videos.